washi tape. What is this stuff? How the hell am I supposed to use it besides it looking super cute? Sarah Flutter here and I'm here talking to you today about washi tape. So if you guys have been around this channel long enough you know that I don't use washi tape all that much but when I do it's usually for a specific purpose but if you are on Instagram and in any bullet journaling Facebook group you know that this stuff can be an obsession. So if you're just starting out in bullet journaling or you've been around long enough and you just want to know more about it, I'm here to show you 10 different ways that you can use washi tape in your bullet journal. So the first thing first, if you haven't been around a while, you're like, what the heck is this stuff? <laughs> Essentially, washi tape is just decorative masking tape. The sticky side is a little bit more flexible so that when you put it down, you can move it around a bit before you have to like actually lay it flat, which is helpful when you're doing bullet journaling and scrapbooking and things like that so that you can get it just in that sweet spot. I just want to preface this by saying you do not need washi tape to bullet journal. Is it cool? Can it help you decorate? Of course but it is not a necessary thing for bullet journaling. So, got that out of the way. But there are a lot of cool and innovative ways that you can use washi tape in your, to your advantage, and I'm gonna show you 10 different ways that you can use washi tape in this video. So, I'm gonna start with a few of the more known ways first, and I'm gonna use my spare moleskin notebook. So, let's talk washi tape. So, there are some obvious ways that you can use washi tape to create a frame, particularly if you aren't super artistic or don't have the time to add some art to your journal, or if you just really like to put a frame on your pages. This is a simple and effective way to work a theme into your bullet journal. Every day can have your, your color scheme and you can do that with a variety of things. A lot of these washi tapes come in packs. So these two washi tapes go together because of the color scheme. So does this one. I think this came in a pack from Michaels. So these, you can change up day to day what the frame is, but it can still be part of your theme. So like this one would be a good washi tape pack to have in the month of March because of St. Patrick's Day or something like that. You can also use washi tape as dividers. I like the skinny washi tape because it is the width of the dots in most bullet journals. So if you wanted to create your dividers and you don't have a lot of time, you can use washi tape to cre create quick and easy dividers between your days of the week. The next thing is just having a spot of color in your notebook. So if you are very minimal, you like to keep to the basics of the bullet journal system. Maybe you just wanna add a little bit of color. So to go along with the first one, maybe you just want a spot of color in your notebook. You can create cool washi tape swatches that go with your theme and bring some color into your spreads. The next one is hiding information. So maybe this is an expense tracker for you or um, maybe you want to keep all your passwords behind something. You can, you can cover it <laughs> with some thing and connect it via washi tape. This is a nice simple way to just get a little bit of privacy into your notebook. Another thing you can do is attach a list. So here in the front, say I have my index or a color code or my key that I just invented this color code or something like that and I'm still getting used to it but I don't want to flip back and forth every single time you can create this little tip in where you put the washi tape on either side and you can flip it out and then you can still see it when you're on your current spread. 
Another thing you can do is attach a photo. So for example, if this is the favorite RSVP sample that I got and this is in my wedding bullet journal, I can just attach using washi tape and then I can put notes around it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. If I am using this as a base to create my own, maybe I talk about what I would do differently next to it but then I have this sample here using the washi tape. And this doesn't have to be something like this. If you went on a vacation, for example, and you just wanna put in a photo from that vacation, or you wanna get something from Storyblocks or um, Pinterest or a photo like that, just to tie in your theme, you can use themed washi tape and those photos to create the effect that you wanna do. So. The next one I'm gonna to talk to you about is one that I actually did in my wedding bullet journal, which is create this bookmark system. So for me, when I'm doing my wedding bullet journal, I need to be able to have something flexible where I can mark the edge of the pages. And whenever I'm on to my next part of planning, I just go to the next page and I mark it with a bookmark. So for example, this one is my favorite one. Um, and this is the one that I use for stationery because I'm gonna be working on my own stationery for my wedding. So that's an example there. And then I got this Crete 365 pack, which had most of these, except for the one for honeymoon vendors, guest list and seating, but both of those sets are from Michael's. So this is a really effective way for me to mark the edge of my pages. So when I go to the side, I'm like, oh, I know what this is. This has to do with the ceremony location. Um, another example that I have is using washi tape for inspirational quotes. So one of the ones that came in that my, uh, Michael's uh, Create 365 set was this washi tape that said look at the bright side let's do this every day is special you know if you're if you just need to make it through your week this is a really kind of cool washi tape to have because by the end of the week you have this thing telling you to maintain your motivation to have some inspiration all that kind of stuff to help you keep going through the week there are also washi tape like this that are functional. So there are ones that have washi tape across the top that have the days of the week or the day or the months of the year also. So you can use washi tape and not have to write out the days of the week or the months of the year every time. I think I've also seen washi tape that has weather on it that can be really cool to use in your bullet journal. So that's another way. And then the last way I'm going to show you is how I mark each month in my bullet journal. So I use this, these washi tape edges to mark certain things in my bullet journal. This marks my quarterly goals page. And if I go forward, here is my other quarterly goals page with that same washi. And I also mark the months with a washi tape. So this one is a black and white dotted, this one, and I kind of have a theme going with my monthly washies, if you can't tell. This one is my green dotted, and this one is my pink dotted one. So that's an example of ways that you can bookmark your monthlies. And I know a lot of people do it on every single page of that month. I don't typically tend to do every single page. I just do the beginning of the month because that's where I want to flip back to if I want to see it at a glance. So there are your 10 types of ways to use washies as borders, as dividers, using a spot of color, hiding some information, attaching a list, attaching a photo, inspirational quotes, bookmarks, and bookmarking monthlies and using functional washi with days of the week, months of the year, etc. So 
Now that you got to the end of this video and you saw all the different ways you can use washi tape, I want to tell you that I'm doing a giveaway over on Instagram and I am going to be giving away 16 washi tapes. So it's not going to be ones that I've used. It's going to be ones that are straight out of the box. Um, these are going to be eight of them. I also, I'm also going to get a set from Michael's that is a little bit different, but this one is based on um, different terrains and it has different seasons. So this one has like a fall, it has a spring, all that kind of stuff. So this is a pretty cool pack that I'm going to be giving away. And then I'm going to get one from Michael's. I haven't decided which one I want to get yet. So you can head over to Instagram. The link is below. I'll put it in the card also for the blog post about this. And you guys can enter my giveaway over on Instagram for 16 washi tapes. So thanks. I hope you guys like this. If you did, like, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz. Have a great weekend, everyone.